Hey guys, how are you doing? So in this video we're going to have a look at how to create our own substructure for a wind turbine meshes. And for that we're going to use the onshore model, as we often do. Um, so the idea now is to change the tower here. This also works for, you know, a monopile, a truss tower, a floater or any type of uh, structure meshes, but right now for this example we're going to use the tower. So of course the easiest way to modify a tower would be to come here, to this parameter here, to this part here, sorry, and then to change the parameters. So, you know, if I want a shorter tower, I could have a 50 meters tower, for example. But for more complex geometries, uh, this is not going to be enough. These parameters are only valid for like, you know, a tubular tower. But if you, if you want something a little bit more complex, that's not enough. And that's what we're going to have a look at now. So I'll just put uh, this to something more realistic again and uh, yeah so what we want to do now is have an input file that is going to define uh, the tower and in order to to work on this input file the easiest thing to do is to export this this uh, tower and work on on the exported file so what i can do is come here press export and say i don't know this is my tower for example Cool, successfully exported. So now if I come here, so here, this is the file that uh, that defines the tower that you are seeing here, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna go into details into how this file works. I strongly suggest that you go to the user manual and, and, uh, and have a look there to understand how this works, you know. These are different sections uh, of the of the file. So a section has like some comments at top, then a keyword, and then some uh, some um, definition of the of the section itself. So if you have any doubts, I suggest that you go to the user manual and search for, for example, RNA nodes. And here you will see that this section, for example, is the one that uh, tells you which nodes of the tower have an RNA or rotor nacelle assembly. Okay. So, okay, let's come back to our uh, our tower now. So what I'm going to do is to add one more element uh, like this. Okay, so some, some horizontal element at the top of the, of the tower. So the first thing that I need to do here would be to add a node. So that's going to be side node, for example. And here I can input the coordinates of my nodes. So the next parameter here is optional. And that I know because it comes in brackets. So if I don't input anything, then it's going to be filled with this default value here. Same with for the next one and, and so on. So that means that I, I could write zero, but I don't need to write anything. So now that I have my extra node here, what I'm going to do is to add a member. So I'm in the member section now, and I'm going to say that I need a member. So this one is going to be called Hori for horizontal and it's a member that goes from endpoint to side nodes. And then the next parameter that I need is the cross section. And well, what I'm going to do is define a cross section for this for this member. So I'm going to call it CS and it's going to have three meter diameter and two centimeter thickness. And the material is going to be the same as the others still real five megawatts because that's the material that's already defined here cool so now i have my cross section so i can go back to my members and add the cross section that i just defined so now i can save go back to ashes and import so that importing is with this little button here and then if i say my tower then that's where i have my tower so, of course, well, what I wanted was to have the RNA on this node here. So I'm just going to go back to my file, go to this section here and say that instead of having the RNA on the node called endpoint, I'm going to have it on the node called side nodes. Cool. So now I save again, go back here, import my tower and voila, here I have it. Cool. So... Yep, that's uh, that's it. That's how to create your own substructure in Ashes. I hope that this was helpful. If you had any doubt, just write a comment or write a question in the forum and we'll answer as fast as we can. Thanks a lot for watching and see you around.